Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Uh, I hope your watercolor is going great. <laughs> and uh, hello, hello everyone. Just let me just wait a little bit. And then uh, I just wanted to go ahead, uh, you know, to show you, uh, mm. to make a very quick uh, sketch. Uh, this is uh, very helpful for you when, when you are you know, uh, you really wanted to spend some time with watercolor, but uh, I'm just hearing that many people doesn't have time. So the the whole intent for this uh, particular uh, the live class is to to demonstrate how quickly you can just go ahead and uh, make a sketch, watercolor sketch. Uh, that will just keep you, you know, uh, keep you uh, in in your in, in uh, like you know, you'll be you'll always be connected with your watercolor so that's the good way to you know always uh, uh, be in a space where you can just do certain work uh, which will enhance or you know it will it will help you to learn watercolor right so let's go ahead and uh, i would uh, i would request you again please go uh, subscribe my channel uh, because uh, if you will not subscribe the channel then uh, you will miss a lot of my videos which I which I upload right so I would request you to please go ahead and subscribe the channel and uh, click on the bell icon so you'll get uh, notification right uh, so let's go ahead uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, you know I'm just bringing one of my imaginative uh, subject. I'm not, uh, you know, referring any any subject or any photograph as such, but I'm just doing some uh, some bit of uh, uh, my imaginative work here, right? So here we go. Uh, so what I, what I want is I want to compose this painting, right? And uh, before starting this, I I also want to tell you that. Uh, this is not going to, I'm not going to make a masterpiece of it. <laughs> I'm just going to, uh, you know, have fun with this uh, activity and I really want you to join with me and enjoy and celebrate the watercolor, right? So this is what we are going to do. So let it be uh, as a sketch, just enjoy the various tone and the various effect or, uh, you know, the strokes and depth and light, contrast things and all, right? So this is how we are going to compose our paper, right? And uh, now let's assume uh, we have one castle sort of thing right here. Uh, right, you have, just imagine that you have you had a very dream vacation somewhere, and you saw one structure. Though you, of course, you have taken some lot of photograph, but some things there in your mind, in your in your memory, which uh, you. You always, it always comes whenever you visualize that particular, you know, uh, the particular uh, place, right? So just think in that way, right? So this the the kind of uh, or the structure we have here, uh, right? The, the I'm just you know, just quickly I'm just doing it for you for your reference, uh, right? Uh, this maybe uh, will be like a clock tower, something like that, right? And uh, maybe some windows and all, and uh, something like this. Maybe uh, one entrance here, right? And there are a lot of people. Maybe the entrance is pretty big here. Okay, and uh, well, quite a few people just uh, going, right? So that's my story. That's the that's my sketch, uh, right? Now let's go ahead and make the first uh, layer of this. So I'm going to use this brush uh, which is uh, which is number zero uh, 
and my color plate uh, again this is typically I have my color plate as uh, uh, you know ultramarine blue, sap green, burnt sienna, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, orange and uh, I think you are not able to see the another color which is a red so yeah I mean these, these are the color but basically my color palette uh, I mean most of the time I'm just uh, using this burnt sienna and uh, this uh, ultramarine blue and uh, now you see just imagine that you are you are in this place or you just wanted to create something just 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 imagine that right you are in a place this place and uh, you wanted to paint this and you haven't you have a, a a sketch pad or a notebook or whatever and you wanted to make this right there itself how cool would, would that be right so now you just see like what i'm doing here is i'm just taken this as a top and uh, now the, another this structure very abstract basically absolutely abstract Right. Good. Now, just come down a little. And uh, now here we have this uh, clock, maybe, which you can. Just make it that, just leave it a little bit of color here. And uh, now there is another dome sort of thing here. Okay. Uh, the interesting part is the moment you start doing such kind of work, uh, you will have a tremendous uh, your control uh, in these uh, water because uh, if you'll not do something like this in a quick session, if you're not able to complete this. Uh, if you'll start doing like a small, small, you know, small, small thing, then that will be a little, it'll not be very fun. So, thing is like if you really want to start uh, enjoying the watercolor and you really want to have fun with watercolor, you have to do something like this, uh, which, uh, which basically adds a lot of, a lot of value to it, uh, to your learning, not only it improves your 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 confidence level but also it gives you an in a anywhere you go or you wanted to paint something that gives you an absolutely super control right you can always just go ahead and make something like this and uh, doing such kind of work will definitely takes out all of your fear if you have fear to do something for your watercolor so those things will <clears throat> absolutely go away so these the quick watercolor thing will be really helpful now see i have a very little water in my brush very little 
and uh, and I just want to pour some water because I want to enjoy the a uh, little bit of uh, the texturing here. I can go ahead and you can do some sprinkling, do some something like this, so you'll have a very interesting texture around that. right that you can you can do that um, because you know a lot of people are saying uh, I really don't uh, able to understand the water uh, you know when I paint I completely lost Whenever I do painting, I see things uh, when you see the demo and things like that. It looks easy, but the moment I just go ahead and uh, create my, my exercise and my piece of art, I'm just having a very tough time to do this. It will happen. Um, it, the reason because it's not just uh, you, you are coming in a week and uh, doing something and you wanted to get that absolutely the way you want. It is not going to happen. So all you have to do is, you need to spend at least 15, 20 minutes. Now you tell me how much time it took me to do this. It took me 10, 15 minutes, right? And that's all you need. This is, the, this is only you need to spend your time in each day. If you are able to do it, well and good, you will be able to get whatever you want. But doing a certain kind of, uh, you know, the work, that will really help you. It will really help you to understand the, the proper amount of depth and light, uh, the contrast, things like that, right? And most importantly, you will be connected with the watercolor every single day. The moment you will disconnect with your watercolor, <laughs> you'll see uh, what happens because watercolor is such medium that uh, if you really want to freak out <laughs> you can't just freak out with this medium <laughs> very tough medium you can't just put white and pour it and do something like that so that you can't do <laughs> all right so Every morning or evening, even if you're office, I don't know, I mean, right now you're in office or uh, <laughs> whenever you feel uh, it's, uh, I mean, you really want to make something, you can just go ahead and uh, create something, something like that. Uh, just, just make whatever you like, right? It's, it's not like uh, you need to make uh, any specific uh, you know, uh, a long version of work. You really don't need to spend so much of time. All you need is 15 minutes, right? Uh, so what I'm doing here is, I'm just adding a little more contrast to it. I mean, you can do it once you, I mean, once this get dry, and uh, if you'll do that, then it'll be really good, but since we are in live, uh, I can't wait uh, till it get dry. But yeah, but so you can certainly, you can just do something like this, All right? Now you see here, we have uh, some uh, crowd of people here, so, you can make something like this. Right. And uh, maybe that's the, the shortcut to make the human figures and all that.
right? And uh, now let's make uh, the face of this people. And if you want to make uh, a little more left, just do that, something like this. Now I see I don't have much water at all. And uh, so these guys are just in front of this, and yeah. So yeah, <laughs> so this is this is it, guys. Uh, so this is uh, this is how we can make uh, a lot of sketch like this. So just have one copy, uh, you know, sketch copy with you, and uh, wherever you you go or whenever you get even fifteen minutes of your time, just do something like this. Uh, it won't take much, you know, uh, much time. So uh, the the purpose of doing such kind of work is. Um, as I said, uh, it always it always teach you something, and you will be always connected with the watercolor, and that is that is really important. The, as long as you will be connected uh, with watercolor, doing some some uh, doing anything, something like this or whatever you want, right? Not necessarily that you have to do something like this. You can do some. I mean, uh, if you have a time, you can just go and make an, a, a full version of. Uh, you know uh, the painting so whatever you want you can just go ahead and do that all I want to say is that they always be connected with the watercolor to practice every single day right so that that will that will go that will really helpful for you right so thank you so much everyone I hope you understood uh, please visit my uh, watercolor class and uh, just see I've created one uh, one video for you you can just go and enroll uh, so you'll have a, a lot of uh, insight about uh, how you can uh, your diminish your fear with watercolor and that will really really helpful for you right so thank you everyone I'll be coming with a new video very soon so take care bye